personalize your school supplies. Today with Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. Hello, I'm Angela Metcalf, Program and Event Specialist for the Kalamazoo and Jackson regions. One of my favorite back to school things was all the new plastic folders and binders and notebooks and school boxes that we would get. Their covers were like blank canvases. I could decorate them and make them personal. And it was so much fun. In fact, it became a family tradition. We used fabric paint on them, just like you see here. This is one that's left over from a binder that did not stand the test of time. And yet the plastic and the decoration painted on it did. So this is the back of the binder. Lots of little fun icons I painted on there. And sometimes I didn't paint the entire image. Sometimes I used stickers and outlined them. Sometimes I created my own designs and painted the entire thing, just like on the front of this binder cover. Now let's get ready to personalize something new just for you. Your materials list is a little long, so you're definitely gonna wanna go and get all of the things that I'm about to show you and create a workspace that is functional and find a safe place to let all of your beautiful work dry. So first you need plastic school supplies. Plastic is important like folders and binders and notebooks and school boxes, lots of different things out there, but they need to be plastic. Next you want fabric paint and a squeeze bottle with the little tip and any colors you want, lots and lots and lots of colors. I dug out as many colors as I could find that I can work with. Um, there might be a lot of glitter in there. Stickers, stickers are really fun to use and a great way to decorate your school supplies. So I pulled a whole bunch of old stickers out. And let's see, scrap paper. Scrap paper is gonna be really important to work with the fabric paint and the squeeze bottles because the tip likes to clog and gravity will become your friend using the scrap paper. See, scrap paper, lots of it. Now you'll see, ah, oh, look, there's scrap paper that's already been used to clean out the tips of the squeeze bottles and make sure that the paint is coming out correctly. Now, what you do want when those tips of those squeeze bottles get gunky and stuck, you're gonna use a needle or a safety pin to clean it out. And as you can see, I'm doing just that, showing off that pin, it got the dried stuff out. Next, you want a dry eraser or wipe off marker so that you can draw on the plastic and create designs on the plastic to paint over. Uh, also, you probably would do well with some sort of spray, whether it's water or cleaner, to clean off the plastic when you want to erase your marker. And of course, paper towels help clean up after all of that as well, as you can see here. So we're going to get started decorating with stickers on a notebook cover. So I'm writing my name first with a dry erase marker and then I'm adding some stickers. Oh, I keep getting my tips of my paint stuck. So you can see I'm using a needle to remove all the gunk from the tip. Oh no, I made a mess. So I'm using a paper towel to remove it and you can see, there you go, it's all cleaned up. Now, I took the paint and I'm going around the edges of the sticker. The reason you want to go around the edges of the sticker is that it actually seals the edges to the plastic cover and keeps it from getting too much wear and also it will keep it from getting caught on things and peeling up. It will last a whole lot longer with that fabric paint on the edges. More wipe off marker to draw designs and then fill it in with my fabric paint. Oh, just some flowers and some hearts and a little bit of Girl Scout goodness. Let's see, oh, a little more detail. There you go, there she is, ready to be left to dry. If you can see, uh, the glitter is pretty white. 
But when it's all dry, it'll be way more about the glitter and less about what the glitter is hanging out in. Now let's decorate with stickers on the school box. So a lot of school boxes and some other items you might have for school have texture like the school box does. And we're gonna take advantage of that. But first we're gonna decorate it with some stickers, just like we did with the notebook cover. I'm going to add some stars all over my box. Oh, like a little rainbow in the sky. And I'm gonna edge it with glitter because who doesn't want sparkly stars? Sparkly stars are the best. Now, as you can see, I keep shifting the box to help move the process along. It makes it a lot easier not having to reach over wet paint. So make sure you think about that. As you can see, I'm also filling in those indents with more glitter, this time red. Although it's hard to tell that it's red glitter, but when it's dry, it will pop. Outlining the raised edges with yellow to make them show up more. Put in some polka dots and now I'm gonna use a wipe off marker to write words along the edges of my box. Pencil, pens, crayons, my name, all of that on the outside. I'm gonna use yellow to go over it. Be careful. Sometimes it's easier to let this dry and then do the next side and dry and do the next side. But drying does take quite a bit of time, usually about a day or if not more. So as you can see, I've got this box totally decorated and it's ready to sit and dry. But watch those fingers, you don't wanna mess up. Oh no, did I stick my fingers in the paint? See what I mean about letting it dry? <laughs> between sides so this is fixable I'm gonna grab my paper towel and my paint we'll wipe it up and we will clean it up and they will reapply the paint so that you never know that I stuck my finger in it we go perfect you never know what happened so that is our school box with stickers now we're gonna move on to decorating without stickers on the three ring binder so I'm taping my wipe off marker and obviously because it's Girl Scouts, I'm drawing a trefoil and I am going to fill that trefoil in with a landscape because I love being outside. And so I think I'm making a river and some trees and some sky and then I'm just going to start picking colors from my group of fabric paint and start filling in the design. It's going to be thick, just like the lines on the outside of your stickers are thick. This is going to be thick and you want to go in and just fill it in. In fact, if you want to make a little more detail, you can add different colors within different colors like I'm doing here with the grass, with the yellow into the green and the blue into the green. And then I use blue glitter for the river and a little gold glitter to give a little texture yellow for the sun, a little gold glitter in the sun, you know, make it pop, a little sparkly. White for the clouds and then filling in the sky with some bright blue. You can also, if you notice that you've gone over or into something you didn't want to, you can go back in and usually you can cover it up pretty easily you just gotta be patient with yourself. And then lastly, we'll fill in the birds with the red and the silver, kind of make them a little model color. And then we're gonna go around the outside with a little bright red to make it pop and look finished. Oh, and every good artwork has your name on it. Sign it with your artist signature. 
there you go. There's our notebook. So I highly recommend get out that fabric paint, get out your plastic school supplies and look, you're gonna have to wait about 48 hours at least to let them dry. But when they dry, you can see the glitter pops, the colors pop and it is permanent. Hey, and maybe you'll make something that will last as long as the cover and back of my pink binder. Thanks for joining us. Hope you enjoyed this fun idea. Share your personalized school supplies in the comments below. Goodbye.